Jack is the protagonist of the next Final Fantasy spin-off, Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin, and he's been making big waves in the fandom for two reasons. The number of times he says CHAOS. Chaos, 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 chaos. Looks like chaos. And for wearing the most basic t-shirt imaginable in a series known for its outlandish fashion. I mean, his backing band is decked out, and his sword still looks like this. And Jack, well, he looks like a retired Ultimate Frisbee player. But if you consider the historical progression of Final Fantasy, Jack's outfit isn't as out of place as you might think. The franchise's early years were defined by Yoshitaka Amano's delicately elaborate artwork, even if the sprite art failed to capture just how many scarves everybody was wearing. Amano's unique blend of ukiyo-e and European fantasy details created an iconic, over-the-top style. From Beach Himbo Furion, to Bart's Thigh Gap Clouser, to Pirate Queen cosplayer Celeste. It's all gestures and rapiers and kebab-ready pauldrons. When Tetsuya Nomura took over character design for Final Fantasy VII, he kept the camp, but drew designs from his personal inspiration, Japanese street fashion. It had an immediate and flavorful impact on the game's whole aesthetic. Suddenly, everybody was wearing gloves and hoisting surfboard swords and rocking some truly boy bandian haircuts. If you peep all the protagonists from the first Final Fantasy to the finalist fantasy, you can see how elaborate and belt-driven the fashion became in Nomura's hands. When we think of over-the-top JRPG fashion, it's largely because of Amano and Nomura. And Jack does stick out, but there's a good reason for that. Final Fantasy has always been a young person's game. The protagonists are mostly in their teens. The oldest is Old Grandpa Cloudstrife, a wizened 21 years old. Now look at this guy, Jack. I would clock this dude at like maybe, dare I say, his mid-30s. Street fashion in Japan is essentially an aspect of youth culture. High school girls and college age women have always been the ones innovating and driving street fashion forward. Broadly speaking, participating in this subculture was a chance to express oneself and reject adult expectations of getting a career and having babies and owning property. And for a lot of those fashionistas, it served its purpose, and then it was hung up when they were ready to move on to some concept of adulthood. But I mean, look at Jack again. Clearly this dude has at least one mortgage, and judging from the bags under his eyes, no less than seven children. A style that represents youthfulness does not make sense for him. Nor does it make sense for Strangers of Parados Final Fantasy Orgy. Team Ninja is trying hard to hammer home this bold new vision. Nomura, now the designer and creative producer, is selling the game as, yes, Final Fantasy, but also mature, which seems to mostly mean bloody. I'm not saying this is a good idea. I quite like the kind of fun camp sim aesthetic of the most recent Final Fantasy games, but it's clear that the devs are aiming for a different aesthetic, and I have a theory why. Final Fantasy 1 came out 34 years ago, sorry if you hate to hear that. If you grew up playing Final Fantasies, then you're not a fresh-faced 17-year-old, able to wield a giant sword without feeling it the next morning. You're way closer to Jack's age than you are to Dawn every teen. Maybe you're even older. Jack's design still has the kind of small and intentional details that make for good street fashion, the kind that are often overlooked, the kind that make it easy to dismiss as fashion. We've got Nomura's signature gloves, a contrasting collar, an asymmetrical cut. We've got fringe. That's a fringe alert, everybody. The fact that you can say, why is this dude wearing a Henley, and how did he get here from the set of Forged in Fire, means that there is at least some fashion brand recognition happening. At the end of the day, one of the many purposes of costuming is to tell us something about a character, even if it's something we don't like. And Jack, well, he looks like he has a lot of thoughts about IPAs. Looks like he arrives at the arena with his own airsoft equipment. Looks like he's made multiple Facebook posts about the tyranny of family court. He looks like he says, I'm just saying a lot. 